Hello, in this video, we're going to go through a sales planning scenario in BPC 10.1 embedded based on computer provider. The step we're going to follow is shown below. And uh, the first step is to create the advanced DSO for planning. As you may know, um, the advanced DSO is the a new type of DSO, which could consolidate all types of DSO uh, currently we use in BWS 10.3. Um, but advanced DSO is going to be the future of the DSO, right? So instead of using the uh, uh, real-time cube, we're going to try to use the new type of DSO for plan. okay? And then we're going to create a competitive provider based on the advanced DSO, okay? And uh, uh, we're going to create a aggregation, aggregation level in on the competitive provider uh, for the input query purpose. Okay, and then we're going to create the input query based on the aggregation level we created before. Because you may know the BPC 10.1 embedded is the planning is actually based on the BW input uh, integrated planning. All right, that's why we need to go through these steps. So the last step is to create a still planning report in BBC Excel. All right, so before we go to the system and create all these objects, uh, let's take a look about the current system, all right? So here is the system we're going to use. It's BW on HANA because uh, BPC uh, Tendron Invest is only supported on HANA platform. I mean, sorry, on HANA service. And like the uh, BPC Tendron standard, um, the embed one can only be running on HANA, right? So now, Let's go to the system and uh, create the uh, necessary objects we uh, talked before, okay? So, uh, because for the concept provider and for the advanced DSO, you can only create them in the BW uh, modeling tool. So, which means you cannot create them in the traditional BW workbench by running transaction RC1. So, now take a look at this uh, BW modeling tool embedded in HANA Studio. So here is the uh, DSO object. So you can right click and create a new DSO object. Uh, we call it advanced DSO, right? So here I have already created one. So if if I double click and you see the tab is advanced DSO, so here is planning mode, which means all the characteristics are keys. Okay, and uh, so and you can choose like either uh, any the other types of DSO, but in our scenario, we're gonna use this uh, uh, advanced uh, the, the planning mode, right? So you go to the detail, you're gonna drag and drop all these info objects which you're gonna use in the DSO. So in our case, we mainly use like quantity, material plan, and current month to simulate a very simple. Uh, field planning scenario. All right. So now let's go to the composite provider. So the company provider is nothing but very similar to the uh, uh, multi provider and the infrastructure. So you can use either join or union in the company provider. In our case, because we only have one and DSO, the field planning advanced DSO. So we just simply drag and drop all the fields to the multi provider. Okay, and then um, we need to create the aggregation level on the uh, composite provider. So in, in order to do that, you have to run the uh, integrating planning transaction R A. Okay. So run this transaction and put the composite provider we created before, and then we can create the aggregation level. Okay, so if we go to aggregation level, I think there's one I created before. If you add it, you're going to say this is a competitive provider we created before, and all the characteristics listed on the left panel. And then on the right side, you can drag and drop which uh, the objects you want to use in this aggregation level. Okay, so in our case, we simply drag and drop all the fields from the competitive provider to the aggregation level. Okay, then we can simply click activate. All right, so now the aggregation level is activated. So we can create a 
uh, input ready query based on the ag aggregation level, right? We go back to the VW modern tool and we're gonna see this aggregation level. If we refresh, this is aggregation level based on the uh, composite provider, right? So if you right click, you're gonna choose the VW query, okay? So I have already created one. Let's just open and see how it works. So this is not, there's nothing. So this is like you want to show the result line left, right, and just formatting, you know, it's, it's very similar to the uh, back query designer, okay? And then we go to the uh, uh, the filter. So you, we have some simple filter, all right? We don't want to see the not like some client or material and for the uh, um, current month, we restrict for the current year 2016, all right? And if we go to the row and the column, we're gonna see the, on the column, we have the uh, key bigger quantity. On the row, we have the material plan, okay? Um, because if we go back to BW and see the advanced theater, let me think. I put the wrong translation. I put the wrong RC one. This is the uh, aggregation level. This is a, a comes to provide. This is advanced DSO, right? So if you want to save the data, um, let's go. Oh, sorry, my mistake. I choose all the characteristics and run the report. Okay, there's nothing. Oh, there's no data in the DSO right now. And like the normal scenario, we're gonna copy all the actual data from last year, and then we can do the planning based on the uh, last year's actual CO data, right? So, but here we don't have those uh, actual data. So what we're gonna do this here is like, we have to choose um, the uh, access tab to all the results by, instead of using the uh, posted value, we use mass data, because if you choose posted value, that means that we have to have some transaction data in the DSO, otherwise we're gonna see empty, right? Same thing for the material that we're using the uh, posted value, which is mass data, because we want to plan for all the material, all the plant, no matter there is a transaction data or not, right? So now go to the uh, quantity, um, and we go to the quantity uh, key bigger, and we choose, um, the planning tab, okay? And we choose the input ready, which means we're gonna do the planning on this quantity key figure, right? Since setting for the calendar year months on the result um, uh, values access tab, uh, must data instead of using the posted value. So now uh, we can do the, uh, we have created the, uh, input ready query. So we're gonna create a sales planning report from the BPC Excel admin, okay? So go to this. This is the BPC web page, a uh, web uh, admin page. So I can run the Excel uh, admin from this uh, drawdown, okay? So click it. So you have, I have the sales planning and uh, you can add it and see how it looks like. All right, this is sales planning model. You created the sales planning model here. Um, okay, so this is the planning model. Is you can select the um, info provider. All right, so we have we select different info provider, but we can still use this connection to create a uh, sales report in the Excel editing based on another input ready query. Okay, so let's just do that. Double click to log on. And here you're gonna choose which uh, input query you're gonna use. So go back here. Um, this is our input ready query we're gonna use. Um, let's copy and paste here. Yeah, this one is sales planning and this is the input ready query, right? So just click OK. All right, so we have this context and we have this um, report layout. So simply we have three, three uh, 
uh, characteristic and one key figure. Um, so we're going to simply drag and drop all the material and plant on the row level. And then we're going to put the Canada mass in the column level, right? So, and also the key figure is, uh, is quantity, right? So uh, this is how it works. But um, you, you see there's only one month. <coughs> uh, let's make, let's select more months, okay? So I would like to choose the fourth quarter and the second quarter. And I, I choose add members. I gonna have more like months, right? So I think I made a mistake. Oh yeah, that I there it is. Quantity on this top and the current month on the uh, second. Before we do the planning, uh, let's see if we have any data in this advanced DSO. So I, I, I go back and around this, still want to see nothing up there, right? Now let's put some data on the plant zero one. Uh, material um, zero one, put it here. Okay. And then for the um, February 2016, I put 200. Okay. And so, so. Um, we go to the EPM and choose save data, right? Three data records will be sent. Do you want to continue? Yes. So now you're going to see a, a pop-up message to see all the three records has been saved to database successfully, all right? So click OK. And now if we go back to this advanced DSO and run this uh, display data again, we're going to see three records. Okay, so this is how it works with the advanced data. So it's quite similar to the hypercube. Uh, we can do furthermore tasks, like if we want, okay, I change this for the quantity for the plant P01, M0, and the material M01 for um, January 2016 to 50. All right, so now you save it again. And we're going to see how it's going to happen um, for this record, okay? Go back and read it again. So you see, it's going to send a different, a different value for this plant P01, material M01, and calendar month, um, January 2016. All right. So, so advanced DSO is, is, has a very quite similar behavior on the real time queue in terms of planning. All right. And this is how how you're gonna see how easy and quickly create a uh, sales planning report in the uh, EDM Excel add-in based on input right query. Okay, and that's all. Thanks for watching.